Thank you very much. Thank you very much. My name is Hidetaka Hayashi, Hayashi Coffee Institute, Tokyo, Japan. First of all, I would express my great uh, gratitude toward the organizer of World Coffee Leaders Forum 2013. And I, the, it is my great pleasure and honor of having a, a presentation in front of you about overviews of coffee industry in Japan. This is not in Korea, but in Japan. Then, uh, <clears throat> overview of coffee industry in Japan for further sustainable development of coffee industry. What are necessary to be appreciated and supported by consumer in Japan? The first of all, I will show you the following statistics and the result of researches made by the All Japan Coffee Association. The sources of these statistics and figures are the All Japan Coffee Association. The first, importation of coffee in all forms, green beans equivalent. Unit is 1,000 tons, not uh, bags and 1,000 tons. The, these uh, import, uh, st uh, figures are green coffee beans and roasted coffee and soluble coffee and extract and total. Extract coffee mainly for the raw material of canned coffee ready to drink, also the uh, liquid coffee. And uh, these uh, figures are the year of 1985, and then in 1985, total green coffee beans, 231,000 tons. Lost coffee, 0 0.237 tons, very small. Soluble coffee, 18, uh, 16,000 tons. Extract, 6,000 tons. Total, 253,000 tons. Uh, in 2006, green coffee beans, 223,000 tons. And roasted coffee, 7,000. Soluble coffee, 19,000. Extract, 10,000. Total, 400. 59,000 tons, equivalent to uh, 7 million 650,000 bags of 60 kilos. In 2012, somewhat declined, and green coffee being 380,000 tons, roasted coffee 9,000 tons, soluble coffee 27,000 tons, and extract 6,000 tons. Total 422,000 tons, equivalent to 7 million 33,000 bags of 60 kilos. Uh, this is the, uh, the graphs of the one importation of coffee in all forms, green beans equivalent. This is not so good. Then importation of coffee in all forms. The peak of importation was in 2006. Since then, importation were getting decreased somewhat. But, and also, disappearance from the port warehouse were decreased minus 2.84% in comparison to 2006 and 2012, and minus 1.53% 2008 and 2012. But disappearance is not the exact figure of coffee consumption only the disappearance from the port warehouse. Then the stocks in the uh, uh, warehouse of the losters, also inventories, also the uh, stocks in the, the supermarket or etc. retail stores, also stocks in the home consumption and others, in the, in the hand of consumer. Therefore, disappearance is not the exact figure of consumption, but we can, uh, we can guess there the trend of the consumption in Japan, if we check every year. Then, uh, in this year, 2013, importation of green coffee beans during January, September was 
3,000 bags equivalent to 6,049,000 bags increased so much by 71,000 tons, equivalent to 100, uh, sorry, 1,186,000 bags of 60 kilos in comparison with those, the same period in 2012. But disappearance from port warehouses did not increase so much, but increased by only 10,000 tons, equivalent to 166,000 bags of 60 kilos. Second, importation of green coffee beans into Japan by names of origin countries. You needed also 1,000 tons. Uh, uh, then, uh, the year of 2000, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, but I, I refer to only the year of 2012. Top is Brazil, 121, uh, more than 2 million bags per year. Second is Vietnam. Third is Indonesia. This is, might be the same figure of the, uh, the ICOs, the, uh, the uh, production of ranking of uh, origin, uh, producing countries. But these two countries, Vietnam, Indonesia, mainly lobster coffee beans came into Japan. But small quantity of Arabica from Vietnam, also Indonesia. Uh, the fourth is the Colombia. Uh, in 2012, only 46,000 tons. This is decrease in comparison with 2010-79 because of probably the uh, price premium differences, differentials on New York City getting increased in comparison with Central America. And fifth is the Guatemala, 29,000 tons. Next is Ethiopia, Tanzania, El Salvador, seven, and Laos, seven, uh, Honduras, 6,000, Nicaragua, 3,000, Papua New Guinea, 3,000, Costa Rica, 2,000. But the Ethiopia, in 2009, only 1,000 tons, because this is mainly because the residue of a pesticide from Ethiopian coffee beans. Then Japan cannot, couldn't import Ethiopian coffee. So only the coffee without any residue of a pesticide was detected. Then. From these 13 countries, total quantity is 370,000 tons. Then, the year of 2012, total 380,000 tons. Then, from these 13 countries, more than 97% of total importation. Japan imported from 45 countries all over the world, but top 13 shared is 97% more. Third is consumption of various drinks in Japan. This is the index. The year of uh, third, 1990 equal 100. Then these uh, roasted coffee and soluble coffee, coffee drinks, green tea, black tea, carbonated drinks, and fruit juice. Then, uh, the year of 2011, roasted coffee, 146 means 46% increased. Soluble coffee, 9% increased. Coffee drinks, 28% increased. Green coffee decreased 7%. Japan was traditionally Green tea drinking countries, but the green tea drinkings didn't increase. Black tea increased 41%. Carbonate drinks increased 19%. Fruit juice decreased 38%. Next. Result of researches made by the All Japan Coffee Association number of cups of coffee per week per person. Of course, this figure in comparison with United States, still Japan is lower. Uh, these researches made by the All Japan Coffee Association uh, about 30, since about 30 years ago, but the forms of questionnaire were changed in 2002. Therefore, the figure before 2000, 2000 and 
since after 2002, a lack of continuity, not continued. Therefore, we refer only the after, uh, after 2002. 2002, total number of cups per week per person was 10.03. And uh, in two, uh, 2012, 10.73 somewhat increased. These research made uh, every two years. The soluble coffee, this is the biggest category in Japan. Uh, in 2002, 4.29 increased 4.46. Roasted coffee didn't increase. In 2002, 3.22 to 3.20. Liquid coffee increased from 0 0.74 to 1.14. And canned coffee increased 1.77 to 1.93. This is the graph of four number of cups of, co of coffee per week per person. The soluble coffee is still the uh, biggest shares of the consumption in Japan. But recently, I think you may know, the Nestle Japan, the biggest uh, 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 coffee industry, also the uh, manufacturer of the instant coffee, they changed the name of instant coffee. They already finished to use the instant coffee, but they used the uh, sorry, uh, uh, regular soluble to change the image, then probably still in, uh, soluble coffee will be increased. This is my prediction. Next, this is the, also the result of research made by the All Japan Coffee Association. Number of cups per week per person by locations. This is not the volume of sales in each location, but number of cups in each locations. And this is the total, and in home and coffee shops, and restaurant and fast food, working place, school, and others. Then, in the year of 2002, a total 10.03 is the same figure of last pages, previous pages. In home, the biggest category, 6.27. Coffee shops is very small, 0.34. Restaurant and fast food, 0.14. Working place and school, 2.50. Others, 0.76. And in the year, year of 2012, total 10.73 cups per week per person. By, uh, and in home, increased 6.85 cups. Coffee shops decreased. 0.21 cups. Restaurant and fast food, 0.11. Working place at school, 2.53. Then the total uh, cups of number of cups per week per person by in coffee shops is less than 10% of working place and school. This is a graph of five number of cups per week per person by location. We can find out then the, uh, the yellow is coffee shops, then decrease so much. Five, number of cups per week per person by location. When consumers buy coffee in cups at coffee shops, then they bring these coffee to their office and drink at their office. These coffee are counted in the figure of work, working place and schools. When consumers bring to their home this coffee and drink in their home, then these coffee are counted in the figure of in home. Coffee and drink, uh, when consumers after take out cups of coffee and drink on the street, these coffee are counted as others. Therefore, the 0.21 cups per person per week in the coffee shop, not the volume of sales in the coffee shops. Next is the result of research made by the All Japan Coffee Association. Number of cups per week per person by ages. This is only the comparison of the year of 2010 and 2012. 
the male and the female, the younger generation, 18, 24 years old, uh, both male and female are increased. For example, the male in 2010, 7.29 cups, increased to 7.73 cups. But uh, uh, 25 to 30 years old, also 30 to 55 years old, both male and female decreased. And, but over 60 years old, both male and female increase, especially female in 2010, 8.99, increased one cups, one cup, female in 2012, 9.99. Then younger generation and aged generation increased their consumption of drinking coffee in Japan. This is the uh, next is the number of outlet and employees of coffee shops. Uh, in the year, year of 1966, number of outlet only 27,000, and employees 140,000 persons. In the year in the year of 1981, number of outlet 155,000 and number of employees, 576,000 persons. But in the, in the year of 2009, number of outlet only 77,000, decreased sharply so much. And number of, uh, number of employees, 351,000. But we can say the small, small or smaller size of coffee shop are closed and disappeared because uh, number of employees not so decreased so much. Coffee shops, the peak of number of numbers of outlet and numbers of employees were in the year of 1981. Since then, number of outlet have been very badly decreased. In 1981, the majority of coffee drinking was soluble coffee. Lost and ground coffee in home consumption was not common, rather rarity. The when consumer in those days in 1981 wished to drink roasted and ground coffee in Japan, so-called regular coffee, they had to visit coffee shops. Since then, regular coffee became popular and popular year by year in home, in restaurant, fast food, and working place, and etc., Consumers became possible to enjoy regular coffee at any locations. And this is uh, too much complicated. This is only the uh, calculation how to make the uh, uh, disappearance at the port warehouse. Of course, this is the uh, beginning stock plus importation minus ending stocks. That I will skip these are uh, too much complicated. Next, the signal of development of specialty coffee in Japan. According to my definition of specialty coffee, Jamaica Blue Mountain and Hawaii Kona are premium coffee and not specialty coffee. Of course, if we refer to uh, gourmet coffee, of course, Jamaica Blue Mountain and Hawaii Kona are included in gourmet coffee, but in specialty coffee, uh, usually, in, in general, specialty coffee have no famous names, but Blue Mountain, too much famous name, and Hawaii Kona, too much famous, also in Japan. Therefore, I uh, exclude this coffee from specialty coffee. Then, historically, the first importation of specialty coffee was into Japan was the trial importation under ITC, ANCTA, WTO, United Nations. Gourmet Coffee Potential Project, which was held uh, between 1997 and 2000. Thence, all Japan, uh, sorry, Specialty Coffee Association of Japan was established in, the, uh, in 2003. Since then, considerable attention to specialty coffee were paid by coffee industry, though participating roster into specialty coffee were limited, unfortunately. B continued. However, from this year, reaction by consumers, coffee shops, 
and the restaurant obviously became changed, especially within this, uh, since this year. Consumers who had the experience of drinking real specialty coffee and owner of the coffee shops or restaurant who had the experience of drinking real specialty coffee started increasing their keener attention to real specialty coffee. More demand for specialty coffee from coffee shops, restaurants have been increasing since the beginning of this year. According to the research by Specialty Coffee Association of Japan, almost all coffee industry who are participating in specialty coffee predict percentage of specialty coffee segment would be increased by 20% per year from now on. Two continued. According to the price level of New York City became lower since last year especially, average cup quality of mainstream equal uh, commercial coffee into Japan have been getting lower and lower, mainly because of the cost of production of coffee producers in producing countries. Rosta expected to receive the good quality coffee uh, according to the, the when they purchased at a lower price because in New York City declined. But unfortunately, the result of the arrival condition of cup quality of mainstream coffee are getting worse, lower and lower. Consequently, consumer can distinguish easily difference in cup qualities between mainstream commercial coffee and specialty coffee. Under recent economic ambience, consumers prefer to drink specialty coffee if they can satisfy those cup quality at reasonable and affordable price. For further sustainable development of coffee industry, cup quality is very important in Japan. First, what kind of cup quality can be satisfied and supported by consumers in Japan? This is not in the United States, in, in Korea. In specialty coffee industry, in order to be supported by consumers and coffee industry can realize sustainable development of specialty coffee, they should continue to supply consistently coffee of cup quality which can exceed the expectation of consumers and toward which consumers can experience their excitement and get deep impression of course, at reasonable and affordable price for consumers. At present, such specialty coffee, such specialty coffee roaster in Japan can enjoy reasonable profit and better growth of their business when they execute supplying consistently real specialty coffee at, uh, with excitement and deep impression. But mainstream coffee is the quality level getting worse, then uh, we cannot say that the consumer cannot satisfy. Of course, price is very low, then satisfaction is not, uh, uh, according to the price level, satisfaction by consumer might be changed. But I think I, I would say recently the commercial coffee uh, which you are selling at supermarket is uh, very rubbish or mediocre, no good for consumers, I think. Then next, acidity, acidity profile for coffee industry in Japan. First, both for, for both commercial coffee market and specialty coffee market. Cup quality is a very important factor in Japan. Of course, quality level applying to commercial coffee and specialty coffee are different. The most important point is cup profile of acidity for both market in case of Japan. Assessment and appreciation acidity profile by consumers are very severe. If acidity profile are bright, smooth, round, sweet, lively, 
refined, soft, crisp, or uh, structure with spines. Then, even though the intensive acidity is high, consumers appreciate very much with their excitement. However, if acidity profile is sharp, biting, dirty, hard, or harsh, acetic, or sour, such acidity profile could not be accepted by Japanese consumer, severely general, uh, in general, severely rejected. Continued acid profile. As, uh, second, acid profile. On the other hand, what is the irritant acid for Japanese consumer? Are such acid profile of sharp, biting, dirty, hard, harsh, acidic, or sour. If these acid profile with high intensity acidity should be rejected by Japanese consumers, I think this is completely different from the, uh, the market in European countries or United States. Irritant acidity for Japanese and for US European market are completely different. Therefore, it might be better for us, this is my own private opinion, for us to introduce and apply Japanese particular own standard and judge and evaluate acidity profile precisely and stringently. Acidity uh, profile continued. Different standards. Why we Japanese have to introduce different particular standards of Japanese? Because palette of Japanese is completely different from those of US or European consumers. Additionally, hardness of water in uh, of water is different from US or European countries. In general, hardness water in Tokyo, for example, about 40 to 50 milligrams per liter. In United States, average hardness of water, my understanding is uh, 125 to 175 milligrams per liter. Therefore, solubility of coffee flavor profile, including acidity profile, is different. In Japan, solubility is very high in comparison with those in US or European countries. Such irritant acidity strongly attacks the palate of Japanese consumer, very unpleasant for consumers. <coughs> Coffee shops in Japan. In the page of 10 and 14, we can find out that category of coffee shops became lackluster, seriously decreasing number of co outlet and numbers of employees. I would say environment of coffee shops have been changed. <coughs> the peak of number of outlets was in 1981. Since then, year by year, regular coffee became popular. Regular coffee, lost than ground coffee. We call it regular coffee in Japan. Regular coffee became popular and popular, and the consumer could enjoy regular coffee easily, not only in the coffee shops, also in home restaurant, fast food, working place, and etc. Second, management workers by enterprise in Japan became very seriously controlled. In 1970s or in 1980s, Japanese workers, including taxi driver, outside workers, could visit coffee shops when they were not so busy. But recently, they are severely controlled by their employers and became di difficult to visit coffee shops for a long time, long, uh, so many minutes, during their business hours. When workers want to drink coffee, they should drink takeout coffee or office coffee service coffee. Third, on the other hand, category of coffee shops has been diversified into two tiers. Coffee shops who can offer and provide attractive space and atmosphere are supported and satisfied by consumers. But 
On the other hand, fourth, coffee shops who could not offer or provide attractive space and atmosphere for their consumer were closed and disappeared. Fifth, attractive space and atmosphere are including good cup quality of coffee. Sixth, why category coffee shops in Japan were diversified in two tiers? About 30 years ago, price slashing was, was introducing in this category. Then the majority of coffee shops could not compete against price slashing, and consequently, they could not offer and provide attractive space and atmosphere for their consumers. Therefore, this is my private opinion. Price slashing is no good for co coffee shops. And I would say coffee shops should not forget about their original value, raison d'etre, toward consumers. Then, see, new movement in Japanese coffee market. From this year, in convenience stores, started serving coffee drinks in cups for takeout. Price of cup of coffee is in Japanese yen 100 to 120. 100 is uh, 7 Eleven. This is the biggest convenience store chain in Japan. 120 yen is a family mart, the third biggest uh, convenience store chain. But Lawson is the second biggest chain in Japan. They are selling 180 yen or higher. But cup quality is completely different. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, these price in the family mart and 7-Eleven uh, are very lower. And these price at the same level, price level of McDonald's. <coughs> Total number of outlets of convenience store in Japan are about 49,000 stores. Triggered by convenience stores, Various movements are introduced and occurred from this year. New movement in coffee shops market in Japan. Total number of st st shops were decreased. Obviously, this category is lackluster. However, new movement are introduced in this category. A. Renewal of the existing coffee shops and the new style. Starbucks has planned of renewal of 160 stores within this term and new development of new style of coffee shops in the area of suburban and roadside. Dotoro Coffee, the biggest coffee shop chain in Japan, has planned of renewal of 10% of their existing coffee shops and also New development of Hoshino coffee shops. This is a full service coffee shop targeting age generation over 60 years old. UCC, the biggest roaster in Japan, is further developing full service coffee shops of Ueshima Coffee 10. Key Coffee, the second biggest roaster in Japan, develops Miyama coffee shop in the early area of suburb. Suburban. Nescafe Satellite, new program, the Nestle Japan, organizing coffee shops chains, targeting restaurant, high class restaurant, also their shops where their uh, shops are serving meals, but rather high class. With the name board of Nescafe, by supplying coffee machine, brewing machine, and supporting the know-how of management of coffee shops. Also, Nestle Japan has been introducing a program of Nescafe ambassador for working place, mainly in offices, with supplying coffee brewing machines. Already, Nestle Japan introduced this program into 70,000 offices since last year. This 70,000, number of 70,000 is not small because in Japan now, total number of outlets of coffee shops are 
more or less 70,000. Therefore, this figure is not small. And C, new movement in canned coffee ready to drink market, triggered by selling coffee in cups at convenience store, such as Seven Cafe by Seven Eleven, and also Famima Cafe Family Mart, also Machi Cafe by Lawson. Sales of canned coffee ready to drink were decreased by more than 5% or 8% this year in comparison with last year. Georgia Coca-Cola, top brand in Japan, introduced new product of Luana in pet bottle targeting ladies, but they say the result is not so good because they only concentrate in the sales in convenience store. Then in the convenience store, they are competing with the uh, sales of a cup of coffee by uh, 7-Eleven or Family Mart or Lawson, etc. And the Santori, also the, this is the canned coffee. Lady, uh, sorry, introduced a new program of drop coffee extract and other beverage with exclusive bottle. And uh, I didn't mention in my, this uh, PowerPoint, the um, certified coffee, like organic coffee or fair trade, Rainforest Alliance or Woods Cafe, good insight, are recently getting increased, but this is also my opinion. If those certified coffee with good cup quality for consumers, probably in the near future will be expand, increasing so much. If the cup quality is mediocre, then roaster wouldn't like to drink such certified coffee. Therefore, I think even though in the uh, certified coffee, cup quality are very important, I think. Finally, I would like to repeat again, quality of coffee is a very important and the basic factor for further sustainable development of coffee industry in Japan, especially in a city profile. This is completely different from US, US or European markets. Thank you very much for your attention. Kamsamida.